the biggest question in everybody's mind when they start thinking about a custom home is what does it cost? And it's a great question. Nobody really knows what it costs to build a custom home. So we're going to answer it today. We're going to talk about the nuances to the question. We're going to talk about how you can develop a budget for your custom home. And towards the end, we're going to talk about what you should add to that question as far as the thought process to help you have a successful project while you build your custom home. Hi, I'm Andrew Genitasio. I'm one of the owners of GTG Builders. I'm happy to have you here. Give us a like, follow us. If any of this information about building a custom home is interesting to you, share it with a friend. We're happy to provide it. Reach out to us at any time. We're always here to help. So when we start thinking about costs of a custom home, most people want to call us and ask us, what do you, what do you charge to build per square foot? And that's absolutely the wrong answer. That's a question that can get you in a lot of trouble. What you want to know is what does it cost to build your custom home? Only you know what you want in that home. Someone can help you develop those ideas, but it's drastically different from one client to another what those custom home costs are. So we're going to talk about creating an entire budget because it's not just what the house costs. We're going to talk about entire budgets and we're going to talk about how you make sure that the budgets you start out with are accurate and usable and are going to allow you to be successful in your custom home build. So the first thought is you want to know what it costs to build your home the way you want it. Is that one story or two story? Is it three baths? Is it five baths? Is it 2,000 square feet because we're downsizing or is it 4,000 square feet because we have young children and we're going to add amenities to our home that work with young kids? That could be anything from flooring, layout, design. All of those things can drastically affect the cost of a home. So square footage numbers don't take any of that into account. Square footage numbers can vary. Square footage numbers can be used to deceive potential clients into believing that a low number is what they're going for, but it can really be drastically different when you build a house. But let's stop back. Let's step back. First question that you should ask yourself is, what am I willing to spend on an entire custom home build project from start to finish? What is my comfort level? Is that 800,000, a million, 2 million, 5 million? Is that the number that makes me think that if I went out and bought the perfect house, here's what I would pay for that house? That number is something that you need to write down and keep in mind as you have conversations. If you're willing to go 10, 20% over that number, that's fine. But know that number because once you start receiving some ideas of what things cost, it's going to be good to know, here's what I'm comfortable with for an entire project. So when you're pricing your home, there's question number one, what does it cost for me to buy a piece of property? That's line one on our project budget worksheet. What does it cost for me to buy a piece of property? You know, you can look around the neighborhood, you can look in the areas you want to be, you can see what land costs, and you can even fill in, okay, I see some land that I want to buy, it costs X amount of dollars. That's your first line item. Second line item is land improvement. So what is it going to cost me to turn that piece of land that I'm going to buy into a buildable piece of property? So let's talk about what those things are. So um, here in New Jersey, when we talk about... um, site improvements. We're talking about um, building a driveway, removing trees, Um, our utilities, electric, water, sewer. We're talking about um, bringing fill material in or bringing fill material out. We're talking about any demolition that we might have to do. So there's a number of things we're looking at for costs. Um, Here in New Jersey, there's 50-50, depending on where you're going to build or if we have a septic system or or are we going to hook up to a a public source source system. Um, we have 50% wells that we drill on site and we have 50% public water systems. So all of those things are different. We can provide you a list of things to look at, but what we do for our clients is we go out, look at that land. We determine all of those things prior to them purchasing it. And we give them a feasible budget to do site improvements. Our clients take that information and they write it on that second line. They now know cost of land proposed, cost of site work budgeted. So you have a good idea of what those costs are. And then there's the big one. There's the cost of the house. And that's line item number three. What will it cost to build my house? When we talk about cost of house, we're talking about the house. 
We're talking about coming in, digging a hole, putting a foundation, and building a house. That's what's included in our house budget, and that's true for most most um, professional builders in the business. So, um, how do you, as somebody that doesn't build houses every day, determine what the cost of a house is? Um, and this is a big one. This is a big one that we see go wrong. We're going to talk about in a minute what goes wrong, but this is a big one. Um, it's not as easy as calling somebody and saying, what do you charge per square foot? Or I want to build a 3,000 square foot house. What does that cost? There's so many factors that go into it. Just the design of the house itself will factor in the type of architect we hire to design your home. Um, are we doing one story, two story? Are we finishing a bit? All of these things um, affect the outcome. So here at GTG Builders, we what we speak with potential clients, we work with them for a meeting or two, we develop a really good list of what's in their head. Custom kitchen, a moderate kitchen, a kitchen that we're in all the time and we want to entertain and it's going to have two dishwashers and a double wall oven. And all of these things factor into our first budget with a client. We never go out and just say a 2,000 square foot house costs 650000 to build. That would be irresponsible. It would be um, obviously telling our potential clients something that's impossible for us to know at that point. So we spend time, we work with them, and we develop a guesstimate based upon things that they're thinking. Later on, that we could change it. You know, We could say, this is too expensive, this doesn't fit in the budget, or we have a lot of budget left over, we can do some really neat things. So all of those things happen. So beware of anybody that when you ask them, what does it cost to build a 2,000 square foot home, a 3,000 or 5,000 square foot home? And they just turn around and answer, this is what it costs because that's what somebody else's house costs, not yours. And that brings us to the final point, which is um, the number one. So, so let me go back. Sorry. The way to develop that budget is to speak to a professional, somebody that builds custom homes. Um, reach out to them. There's custom home builders in your neighborhood. There's custom home builders in your town, in your area that have both really good reviews on Google. They have great um, test testimonials from clients and they have a really good name in the community. Reach out to them, speak to them, tell them what you're thinking about doing. See how they figure out budgets for you. See how they work with you to develop a budget. Ask them, how can you help me figure out what it would cost? And let them explain their process. And the good ones will have a process. A lot of people want to step over that doing the work to find a really good custom home builder because they think they're just going to save time. And, and what happens is many, many people either end up disappointed. Um, they don't take the time to find a good one. They end up in court. They end up um, lost. And a year and a half later, their house is under construction, but not done. I mean, this happens all the time. We hear this from clients that come to us and tell us how bad their experience is with another builder. So my final point is find that builder that can help you develop a budget. Do not shortcut the process. Do not try to save time by getting a rough idea from some guy um, what it costs to build and then go and hire an architect and let them just draw your dream house. And then you have no idea what that dream house really costs because you didn't base it on any real information. Here at GTG Builders, we work with you and the architect to develop a home design that fits your budget. You take that budgetary link out of there you are bound to end up 20, 50, 100% more cost than you really wanted to spend. And what happens to those projects? They just never happen. Those people never become custom home clients. Sometimes they complain that all the costs were too high and this and that. But what really happened was they didn't do their homework in the beginning to find a builder that can guide them through the process. They didn't take a builder's advice while designing a custom home on budget. And they ended up in a place where nobody wants to spend that amount of money to build that house. So that's it. Develop your three line items, land, land improvements, cost a house. How do you do that? Work with a professional in the area, get their input, allow them to take you through their process. There's no harm in calling GTG builders and allowing us to go and work with you on developing, uh, looking at a piece of land you're interested in, helping you develop a budget. If you don't like it, you can always go someplace else. So that's it. Thanks. I uh, appreciate you watching. Give us a like and uh, follow us because we'll be coming out with more information. And, and if you find this informative, drop us a note. Let us know what we can do better. Have a great day.